everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm giving you 10 under 10. Why am I yelling? <laughs> Hello, thanks for clicking on this video. Stick around, I promise, I swear, I swear, it will get good. I, uh, yeah, I decided to, you know, just these, these, these titles are catchy. These titles are, are catchy on the YouTube, you know, on your homepage. 10 products under $10 that I really like. I'm just gonna build from the ground up, <laughs> the ground being my skin, and I am wearing everything. The Wet n Wild Glass Skin Primer. I haven't talked about this since I did the video <laughs> on this, and it's really nice. I used this when Oh, the hydrating skin tint came out with Wet n Wild, which I also really like, but I decided to put something else in in this video. So this is a primer base that says crystal like skin. It is a green tint, but it doesn't do any color correcting in my opinion. I like that it is it is just a very nice shiny primer. Everything looks very hydrated and dewy and it's nice. I really I really think this looks good and everything. I mean, I'm wearing a lot of glowing things, so but I do enjoy this. This is made in the USA. This is not made in China. So, there is a sticker on here that says not tested on animals. Distributed by Mark Wynn, City of Industry, California, made in USA from domestic and foreign parts, which a lot of products say that. So that's great. Okay. And then moving on, the Essence Hydrating Pretty Natural Hydrating Foundation with Hyaluron and Aloe Vera. I am wearing shade 070, which is Warm Cashew. I picked up the 040, which I thought maybe that's my winter shade, but I, I've shown you guys this. I really enjoy this. You know, for $5, it's ridiculously affordable, and it is one ounce. It really just has such a nice finish. I actually put it on with my fingers today. I just slapped it on like tinted moisturizer. I blotted it out with my beauty sponge, and then I built um, concealer and stuff on top because it is a very sheer, it is a light to medium coverage. It's not sheer, it is light to medium. It does cover, and I think it does give a nice, just, you know, natural, not too much, yeah, very, very non makeup y, uh, but it's still, it's still doing something for you. I decided to bust out the e.l.f. Brightening Concealer. This I thought was a winner when it first came out back in, I, it was January. I think this was my first video of 2021. I reviewed this and the putty blushes. <laughs> and, um, yeah, and they're $5. And, I know, I always say this, that the pen, the clicky pen thing is a problem for some people because it doesn't give you that control of how much product you're getting out and you can really overdo it. But my advice is, obviously you've got to click it a bunch to start it, but once you've started the flow, just click it once, twice, maybe three times, you know, just, just take it easy and test it because product comes out. And if you click it a bunch and then you sort of don't pay attention, it's just gonna, it's just gonna flow. What I like about this uh, brightening concealer is that it has more coverage and for being a brightening concealer, which I always think of like the Touche Claw, you know, kind of something that's sheer, maybe light reflective, this actually has, I want to say more of a satin matte finish and quite a bit of coverage. I'm very surprised how much coverage this has. I just think of it as a, as kind of one of those lightweight concealers. So, but 
it actually does a good job of concealing dark circles. So what I did with this, and I have shade medium 32, 32N, I used this under my eyes around here, and I just kind of spot, I just sort of spot concealed. So you can still see some stuff coming through, like freckle or, you know, even kind of discoloration, but it's, it's really toned down. So it looks natural, um, but it's just nice, you know? And I put it right here to cover freckles and to um, cover veins because my nose always gets red. And I feel like you can just get a bunch of shades and really kind of paint your face. <laughs> <laughs> the Joa Blur Powder, $8 CVS. You can also get it on the Joa website. I love this powder. I, like I said, I did just a spot. I took a brush like this size. This is the Ruffer 18. I just use this um, to apply in areas instead of just taking my big powder brush and, and going all over the place. I decided to just sort of blend, pat, whatever you want to call it, in to um, my whole face, really, but I used, I, I went in small areas and just kind of made sure that I wasn't pushing any of the foundation and concealer around. I wasn't adding a ton of powder to give it, you know, powdery. I just kind of did, um, yeah, that. <laughs> Um, and I like, I like doing that because then I feel like I'm really, I'm setting everything, I'm laying it down, but I'm not, I'm just not going crazy. I have to say, you guys got me on this. I had bought it and forgot about it. And then a bunch of you commented how much you liked it when I talked about some other Catrice products and it's the waterproof setting powder. This is the Luminizing Powder. Um, I have Radiant Beige. I don't know if there's other shades, but this is their Prime and Fine line. The waterproof is like, what? But you folks really swore by this. You said that it was pretty much, you know, when you set uh, concealer or when you use this, that you found it to really keep everything in place. And I started using it and I actually set just my cheeks. Just, I just kind of buffed it over. Actually, did I use, I think I did use a bigger brush this time. And I just kind of went in there and kind of, yeah. And it doesn't kill whatever sheen. This, oh, this, you guys though, we are talking, this is, this is not even, if Emilio Estevez, does he have kids? Cause this, this is so not Sheen. It's, it's like we're, we're getting generations away from Sheenville here. So this, it says radiant or no, it says luminizing powder. No, no. I would say <laughs> that it is it's, it's not, it's not luminizing in my book, but it is a nice finish. And it is, again, that thin, you know, it's just a thin veil of powder where you aren't, where your face doesn't look like it's powdered. How about that? I am loving Milani's cheek tint. This cream blush from Milani. I had the nude kiss and I decided to get this coral cheek kiss. That's what it's called. And I got coral crush because I love the Patrick Ta coral cream blush. And I think someone was duping this and I don't remember who. And I got to say, I'm wearing this today, but I have to say you guys, everything, I don't know what exactly I'm wearing the Catrice highlighter, the Sungasm, which I actually didn't include, but we can talk about that as like a honorary mention. Um, so I am wearing highlighter, but I gotta say, it really is a combination of everything together that the layers are just coming through as 
I'm not, my face does not feel dewy at all. Like I, I feel powdered and set, but everything about my look today is, is, is dewy. You know, everything is kind of beaming. I'm actually not, I'm wearing matte shadows, hundred percent matte shadows. And yet I'm still kind of like, Ooh, look at that. So why I'm saying that is not to brag because I'm so radiant. It's to explain that between the, you know, like primer and foundation and concealer and powder and the way I have layered everything and, you know, just used a light hand. I think that is what is giving this finish versus just other options. So, but anyway, this, this is great. These Milani blushes, this coral crush, I mean, it is your, that is coral. That is is it orange? Is it pink? You know, to me, that's what coral is. Like you look at it and you think both pink and orange or red and orange. And that's what this is. And it just, yeah. My eyeshadow today is the LA Girl, this one right here. And I said, I only am wearing matte. So this is the Keep It Playful. I have all of, there's three of these nine pan shadows and I have all of them. This is the Playmate is this one. And I love the shimmers in this, but I just decided not to wear them today because I thought I would focus on kind of all the shiny parts of my face to be my face and not my eyes. And I am wearing these th one, these three are the, the shades I'm wearing. And, um, they're, they're, I love these. I love these palettes. They're so much fun. There's neutrals, but there's metals. And I, I just think these are so good. They're $8.99 at CVS. They're like $9.99 at Ulta, and they might even be $8 at Target. So definitely under $10 and they're really good. And then I decided to lower my bottom lash line. I don't know if you can see it. I just kind of popped it in like right here. I talked about this in my last bargain of the week. It's the LA Girl Shockwave Gel Liner. And this is the shade, uh, is it Emerald? No, Dragon. That's right, I love this. Dragon. So it's because it's an emerald look to it. It has that jade. Like, doesn't this look like a jade? Like how pretty in summer, you know, and, and this formula just does not budge. It's so good. It's so creamy and long lasting and so affordable. And I'm just in love with, um, a lot of LA girl stuff lately. The NYX glue, <laughs> this is the, the brow glue, which what a great name. Just call it like it is. I'm wearing it today. And I, for, for drugstore brows. So for combing up my eyebrows and making them look fluffy and, and uh, on trend, this is so good. It doesn't add any tint or fiber. It is glue. It really just keeps them in place. If you have unruly brows, which I don't, but I've noticed that they really do kind of fall, you know? Like after a while, like nothing looks like the work you did. So I'm like, what? Um, yeah, so this is, I look, I don't know if you can see that, but it is glue. So, I mean, it's not glue, but it's, you know, <laughs> can you see your, your kid runs out of glue for school and you're like, use this. Although I'm getting some craft ideas. This might, hmm, okay. So, when you put this on and you, you know, even if you want to reapply it, it doesn't get crusty. So I really like it. I think because I love the Kosas so much, but that's tinted and has the fibery things. I think, yeah, it has fiber. This doesn't have any of that. What I'm wearing on my lips is the Wet n' Wild Catsuit Liquid. Um, this is the gloss, their Mega Laugh Liquid Cat Suit. So they have this in matte liquid lip, which is good. It is pretty dry though, but it is such a good, like if you really need a specific color, they have so many shades that you'd probably find one. But for gloss and just nice, more comfortable, these 
are so good. They have more pigment than you would think, or I should say more opacity than you would think. And this is the shade Send Nudes. They have an obsession with naked references. <laughs> the lipstick, the Mega Last lipstick, has um, clothes off is my favorite shade. And I'm like, you guys. Okay, so do you see this? Here, I'll show you right here. This is such a pretty gloss. I know the Maybelline Lifter gloss and you know, there's so many glosses out there that get attention and these are wild. These are wet and wild. <laughs> no, these are really good and I like them. This shade is, Peach Stole, Peach Stole. And talk about coral, it is like baby coral. Look how cute that looks with the blush. It has a pink, like a, an orangey pink to it, like a peach. Oh gosh, what do you think? Is that why they named it that? Um, yeah, so it's so pretty. And yeah, oh, oh, Maybelline. Maybelline Latch Sensational. This is definitely cheaper at Target. Buy it at Target. Um, this, I, I love this mascara. I, you know, <clears throat> I'm such a fan of Essence mascaras. I'm such a fan, I'm such a fan of so many cheap mascaras, but this one, I love, I use it, um, I used it in my blinky, my blinky mascara method video. And I just really like the brush. I like the formula. I like how dramatic it is, but I can really comb through it. And I just think it is one of the best mascaras. And there you go. Those are my 10, maybe a few more than 10, under $10. Thanks for watching. Check out some playlists of mine. I've got Bargain of the Week. I've got Dupes. I've got Skincare, Drugstore, etc. And share with your friends. Thanks so much. I'll see you next time. Bye.